Hey guys, here's step nine of building your own website. One of the great things about WordPress is how flexible it is. You've already seen this some with the different themes you've used. With a couple of clicks, you can completely change how your website looks and feels. Another way WordPress allows for flexibility is with its plugins. While WordPress does a lot of things out of the box, it of course doesn't do everything, and that's where plugins come in. You already have some experience with plugins, thanks to your work with Akismet in the last step. As a reminder, a WordPress plugin provides additional functionality for your site. If you can imagine something that you'd like your website to do that it can't at the moment, there's a good chance that someone has already written a plugin to do that. There are as many plugins for WordPress as there are themes. For example, there are plugins for all of the following. Embedding Spotify playlists so your readers can see what you've been listening to recently. Find and use GIFs in your posts. Add a countdown timer to, well, anything. Quickly changing the fonts on your site using Google Fonts. Adding Google Analytics to your site. And on and on and on. For this assignment, you need to identify something you'd like one or both of your websites to do. You will then find a plugin to make this happen, install it, activate it, and configure it. So let me show you how to do this. On your site's dashboard, click on Plugins in the left-hand menu. Then click on Add New in the upper left. This page is pretty similar to how you explored themes earlier. You can browse by popular plugins, recommended, favorites, or you can simply search for the particular feature you're looking for. Today I want to add a Spotify plugin to the class website. So I'm going to search for the term Spotify. You can see that there are several plugins that might meet my needs. In fact, 118 come up for a search on the word Spotify. Although looking at the titles of these, I'm not sure that all of them will actually provide the Spotify functionality I was looking for. As you're looking, you might consider both the ratings a plugin has received and how many active installations there are. Neither are a guarantee, of course, but they give you a sense of whether it's working for other people. This Spotify play button for WordPress might do what I'm looking for. If I want to read more about it, I can simply click on More Details to learn more about the plugin, how it works, how to install it, and so forth. This one looks like what I want, and so I'll go ahead and click Install Now. And as simple as that, this plugin is now installed. Now I just need to activate it. Again, I just click. At this point, you'll be returned to your list of installed plugins. You can see that the plugin you just added is here and activated. Depending on the plugin and what it does, you may have to do some extra configuration on your site. You may have to click on the plugin Settings or View Details. In this case, I'm going to click on View Details. Here I read that I need to use a short code or a WordPress block in a post or a widget. So in this case, I go to my widgets, which happen to live under Appearance. WordPress widgets add content and features to your sidebars, footers, and other parts of your site. Where they're used depends on the theme. In this case, I want to add this new widget to my footer. And so I'm going to simply choose a block, and I'm going to search for the word Spotify. You can see that actually Spotify is built into WordPress from the get-go. I didn't need a plugin for this, but the one that I added actually has more features. So I've added this block, and I need to paste the URL for my Spotify playlist. Then I can choose how big I want this widget to be. In this case, I'd like something a little smaller, so I'll choose Compact. Then I click Update in the upper right-hand corner. Once my widget is saved, I can go to my site. Now everyone can listen to what I'm listening to when I come into class on any given day. If you can't find a plugin while searching the plugin directory, you can simply do a DuckDuckGo search for WordPress, plugin, and then the functionality you're looking for, perhaps countdown timer. When you find the plugin you want, you would download it. And then when you choose to add a new plugin, you would click Upload Plugin and choose the file from where you have saved it on your computer. 
then you'd activate it and configure it. Again, there are thousands of plugins that you could explore. The point of the assignment is to help you see how flexible WordPress is, that you can use it to do things it doesn't do immediately out of the box to meet whatever needs you're looking for. So don't spend too many hours looking for the perfect plugin. Instead, find something that works, install it, and get this assignment done. And that's it. Step nine is done. You've installed a plugin, activated, and configured it.